Good morning, Team Taylor family. Happy Monday. It is time for our Monday Market Report. So excited to get back to you guys this morning. Uh, today is the 10th, and we're halfway through. We're in the second half of the year, and uh, just so excited about how many people are responding to all these uh, emails we give you on Monday, and it seems that it's a tremendous, tremendous asset to you and your friends, so we want to keep it rolling. As always, we're talking about single family houses and our source is the Global MLS. And again, this is Rob Taylor from Team Taylor at Keller Williams Capital District. And let's get going. Um, the first thing we noticed today is we got some red back in the picture. Uh, we had three school districts with no sales. We also had three categories that didn't have any sales as well, uh, over 300,000. There were no sales in Fort Montgomery County, as well as Mayfield, Northfield, and Fonda, no sales. Um, but I guess overall, the week was pretty good. We had 18 sales this past week. Uh, 10 were under 100,000, and five were under, uh, were between 100 and 150. So I guess what we say is, yes, this week, we had 18 sales, which is the most sales in a week we've had in four weeks, but 15 of the 18 were under 150,000. So just something to keep in mind as you wonder how the market's doing, or you might have some people that might be looking to buy or sell. So uh, also like kind of looking backwards last week, there were 13 sales. So with 15 this week, this past week, 13 the week before, the week before that was 17. And in the week that had 13, there were four that were over 200,000. So again, how the market can change with what's being sold week to week. But overall, 17, 13, and 18 sales in the perspective last three weeks, that is pretty good, pretty good uh, for Fort Montgomery County. And we just hope to see more of the non-red weeks. But as we move forward, uh, like I said, we keep you informed every single week. So number of pending, Gloversville, was number one. We had a tie for second with Broad Auburn and Johnstown with three each. Average days on market, Amsterdam sold two houses. Average days on market, six days. I will say, I know I was involved in at least one of them being multiple offers. And I'm telling you right now, uh, like I told you last week, there are a lot of multiple offer situations going on. So if you're a buyer that's looking to buy, you have to be ready to go when you see the property, if you like it. Now, as far as average price point, Amsterdam was top with 142,000 average price point, a little over, and Broad Auburn was second at just under 142,000 with 141. So the top segment, again, was a zero to 100,000. And then second was 100 to 150, like we already told you. Of the 18, 15 were 150 and less. So there's your quick market snapshot. And as always, we love your comments, emails. Probably got about six emails last week uh, with people uh, wanting help or knowing somebody that would like to get this information. And we appreciate you. Keep it up. Let us know if we can help you in any way, uh, whether buying or selling or just someone you know. So have a great week. Get out there. Enjoy the sunshine. We're in the second half of the year. Let's enjoy it. Talk to you soon. Have a great day.